First thing you're gonna wanna do when you receive the tube tester from us is get it open, remove it from its protective bubble wrap, and you'll see it's a nice small size, which is easily uh, held. And you've got the uh, control panel here. You've got the on off button, indicator light, technical information there. And so first thing you're gonna wanna do is let's get the batteries in. First two go up, second two go down. Get the little lid and let's check and see if we got the batteries in. Yes, we have the indicator light working. Now this one features the long antenna that pulls out, helps you reach things. One word of caution, when you're using it, do not touch the antenna. You will get shocked, and if it touches a piece of clothing, it will burn a hole through your clothing. So let's make sure you don't do that. Now this tester will test a variety of items, but they must have gas inside. You've got your neon tube. You've got a string of LEDs. Up here is an old Nixie tube. You've got a 110 volt LED bulb. You've got a fluorescent bulb. Let's go through each of them. Here we have a neon tube. Now you can touch the wall of the neon tube, or you can touch the electrode wires for farther dispersion of the light. Now you'll notice that it's flashing on and off. This is on purpose, built into it, so when you're out testing a neon tube in the bright sunshine, it's easier to see it flashing than it is lit up. Here we have a Nixie tube. Now this is an antique, and you can see that you're able to get the different numbers to light up inside the tube. And so that tells us that this Nixie tube has viable gas inside. Here we have an LED light bulb. Now we're just gonna touch the base of it. And there you can see that, yep, this bulb is still good. These LED modules for signs can be easily tested. Here I can touch either one of the input wires and it'll light up the strand. What a time saver because you never know what the problem is, but this can narrow it down. Is it the power supply or is it the LEDs? These LEDs are all viable. With this fluorescent bulb, you can, again, easily check for viable gas, either end. You can even test in the middle. Now, it's not as strong in the middle. It's always best if you can touch the uh, electrode end and make sure that you've got a good tube. Check this out, we also offer a belt case. Now this is really convenient for the sign guys that go up and down ladders to chest neon in the front of buildings. It's got a convenient Velcro flip up tab that keeps your tester in there without falling. On the back side is a belt clip. Just simply clip it onto your belt and it leaves your hands free to go up and down that ladder safely. These testers are an absolute must for the sign shop that goes out and tests neon in the field. When you're out in the field, knowing whether the neon tube is bad or the neon transformer is bad saves money. One trip, figure it out, get it fixed, and get out of there.